Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm the Lazy Pastry Chef and today we're making a lemon curd cake with a strawberry mirror glaze. Please stay tuned. If it's your first time stopping by, please feel free to subscribe. That way you can be part of this wonderful family and while you're at it, please smash that bell. That way you are notified every single time I drop a new video. Thank you. This cake will have layers of lemon curd cream, some chocolate cake, a strawberry compote, and a strawberry mirror glaze. We'll start by baking out some chocolate cake and I happen to have a quick and easy chocolate cake recipe that I'll pop a link in the description for you to check out if you want to. I then cooked off some strawberries with some sugar and some pectin to make the compote and I popped them in a mold and I froze them for about 4 hours to make the jelly. While the compote is setting up I then, oh excuse me, while the compote is setting up I then start working on my strawberry mirror glaze. I cook off some strawberries and I mush them continuously until they turn into a syrup. I then combine strawberry puree, some glucose, whipped cream, and some sugar. I whisk this and I cook it on medium heat until it reaches 215. I guess it's 215 if you've been cooking it on low heat, you should have a nice red color and your glaze should be setting right about now and then you should add your gelatin and whisk this until it completely dissolves into the glaze. I'll then strain the glaze and let it sit at room temperature until I'm ready to glaze my desserts. Free tip, you want to stir it every now and then just to make sure a film doesn't form on top of it. Alright fam, how we doing? Stick with me alright? We're almost done. Now we're making the lemon curd. To do that, we'll possess some lemons onto some egg yolks and put it in a bowl. Then we'll add the sugar and then we'll whisk this together. Then we'll whisk this together. Once everything's nicely mixed, I cook this egg mixture on a double boiler until it reaches a temperature of 165. Once it reaches a temperature of 165, add your lemon juice and keep stirring until the lemon curd thickens. I then added gelatin to the lemon curd cream to help it stabilize, just to kind of help the dessert hold its shape better once it's done setting. With the gelatin mixed into the lemon curd mixture, I then fold it in some whipped cream. I will then proceed to build the cake by piping layers of lemon curd cream, chocolate cake, and the strawberry compote, which should be ready by now, into the silicone mold. I will pop a link in the description below to the website where I got the silicon mold from. You guys can feel free to check it out if you want to make this dessert. Once I'm done filling the mold, I'll pop them in the freezer for eight hours for the lemon curd cream to set. As soon as the lemon curd cream sets, I mold them, then pop them back in the freezer for about five minutes. Then I get my glaze and splash these amazing looking desserts. Now before I do that, I want to check the temperature of my glaze and make sure it's at 81 degrees.
once I'm done glazing them, I use a toothpick and I carefully pick them up and transfer them onto their serving. I, th I think I'll call this a serving board. I don't know what you want to call it. They're these little golden plates that I got on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description below. Feel free to check them out if you're interested. I'll then pop them in the refrigerator for about five minutes to give me some time to make some chocolate decorations that I'm going to put around them. I then tampered some chocolate and poured over a cake collar to make this wonderful chocolate decoration that I wrapped around the dessert. I will post a video on how to tamper chocolate in your house probably in a month or so because I, I figure it's going to be a pretty short video and not a lot of people are going to want to watch it. But I feel like tampering chocolate is key, especially if you want to make awesome chocolate decorations and take your desserts to the next level. Alright beautiful people, I'm not going to take up too much more of your time. Please feel free to like, share, comment, and please if it's your first time here, do not forget to subscribe to my old subscribers. Thank you so much for sticking with me. My new subscribers, welcome to the family. Thank you for joining me. And as usual, it's your boy the Lazy Pastry Chef. Feel free to try any of my recipes and tag me on Instagram at the Lazy Pastry Chef. Thank you so much for watching. Peace and love everybody.